yourself. What's this, Brittany? Thank you. You're awesome. I'm going to turn the camera on you and let you give the weather. So the dream that you had can come true. <laughs> Great morning, Warrior Nation. Hello. It is so good to be with you all this morning. I'm like, Brittany, hey, Warriors. <laughs> What's up? Hola, Liz. Como estas? Hi, Misty. Hi, Scarlett. Hello. Good morning. What's up, Warrior Nation? Hi, Rhonda. Hello, everyone. Karen, Sharon, Tabby, Pat, the only Lala. <laughs> Did I get that right? Sheena Camille. Now I'm Brittany trying to creep and put her phone do not disturb. Brittany, nobody about to call you. Hello, Mr. Glenda. I don't want to interrupt you. <laughs> Lisa Beth, what's up? Hey, Jennifer. Hi, Irene. God bless you. Where's Meredith? Good morning, Meredith. Where's Miss Avis? Good morning, Miss Avis. Keisha Johnson. Good morning. One Baby Girl, 1994. Good morning to you. Hello, Carroll. I believe that's Miss Carroll. Hello. Mrs. Muffin, eight. What's up? Bad, bad, T-H-V-N-G-S underscore. Good morning. Hi, Sharon. Good morning. Elsie, good morning. I ran to a warrior last night. No, like, literally. <laughs> I was going to the restroom at Walmart, and I was just making my way to the stall, and somebody just came out of the bathroom, and we almost had a head-on collision. And she goes, oh, I follow you on Facebook. I said, I literally. She said, I'm going to give you a shout-out in the morning. What, what was it, Sharon? Grant Smith or Smith Grant? Something like, like, like that. Good morning, since I literally, like, knocked you over for real. Good morning. Hey, Jennifer Dillon. Good morning. Love you much. Okay, hello to everybody. Miss Crystal. Funny underscore Mimi. Wealth goddess. Okay, now. All right, y'all. Great morning. Hello, Harvey. Well, I know it's Miss Ollie Boone. Good morning, good morning. Donna Victoria. Okay, hello to everyone I did not name. But good morning. I love you guys so much. Let's go into prayer. Y'all know I'm in a good mood. You know why? I got on my happy tea. I told y'all when I wear my rainbow shirt, it's so pretty that it just, it just immediately makes me happier than I already am. So, you know, if you need a mood booster, get the rainbow tea. It's cool. Pretty cool. Um, let's go into prayer and tell God thank you for today. Today we expect miracles right? We live every day on purpose. We live every day with expectation, right? So, oh, I want to give a shout out to my sister Chanel today. My sister has started following the Warrior Nation. She is now part of the Warrior Nation. That makes my heart glad. She, uh, I talked to her yesterday. She lives right here in town. Uh, we look alike. So, we sound alike. And yesterday we talked and she was saying, she called me and she was like, Samson tied up. She said, Samson had 300 foxes. I said, Chanel, you were on the video? She said, I've been on there all week. She said, I've been commenting and posting. She said, I got on there at 556. I said, well, what do you think about everything? She said, I can't believe what God has done with your football head. She said, I remember you had this football head. And I used to put two braids on your head. Like, two, she said, you remember the two braids? I said, I remember. She said, when I look at you now, what God is doing? She said, I am just amazed. Still remember you with a football head. So we praise God. I still really do. Yeah, she's right. It, it, it does come like a football. But that's okay. I thank God for it. It's for his glory. But for, to hear my sister say that and to hear her talk about Samson, y'all, that just really, that really blessed me. So, Chanel, I love you. That's my, we used to just fight all the time growing up. But that's my girl. And can't nobody else mess with her. And she's not going to let anybody mess with me. So, my football head. Praise the Lord. <laughs> It was so funny. She said, your football head. I'm just looking at you now and what God is doing. And I'm just in awe. That's what people say about you. They don't have to call you a football head. But they can say, what God is doing in your life, I'm just in awe. That's what we want to hear. Right? We want to hear that. So let's live on purpose and live with expectations going to prayer. Father, we thank you. Football head and all, I give you glory this morning, Lord. You're awesome, awesome, awesome. And we just thank you this morning for what you are already doing in the Warrior Nation. God, we thank you for how each day our faith is being increased. And we just want to honor you for it. We just want to give you glory. God, today we expect miracles. We thank you, God, that miracles and signs and wonders will follow us, God, so that those who do not believe will believe. They will want to serve our amazing God. Lord, we thank you for the very air that you breathe into our lungs every day. God, we thank you for the beauty of this day. We thank you for the miraculous, the supernatural that will happen this day. God, we thank you for just showing us by the power of your Holy Spirit how important it is to get up in the mornings and spend this time with you and to study your word that gives us power. And it is your word that reveals to us who you are. 
You are just so awesome, God. Tell them, y'all. Lord, you're awesome. We love you. Just tell them, God, I love you. I worship you. I adore you. I magnify you. I exalt you. You are bigger than my problems. You're bigger than my circumstances, God. You're bigger than everything because everything rests in the palms of your hands, God. We thank you. Even the waves and the winds have to obey your word. So, God, we thank you for your word, your word that you watch over and you are faithful to perform. Please bless our time together. Holy Spirit, you're our teacher, a magnificent one at that. We yield to you. Anybody want to yield today? We yield to you. Have your way. Our ears are itching for a fresh word from heaven. And we're so thankful this morning. Anybody thankful? I'm thankful, God. I'm grateful. I'm so grateful what you are doing in my life, in the lives of my family, in the lives of the warrior nation, my family. God, I just thank you for today. What you are doing is marvelous in our eyes. Please bless our time together. Jesus, we love you. We honor you. You're the king of all kings in your name. Your name is the name above every name and your name has power. And we thank you for that power today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Warrior Nation, good morning. Tell the Lord how thankful you are. Let me confess, I always misspell grateful. So when I say, Lord, you're grateful, you ain't going to see me typing it in too much. Because I always mess it up. Brittany, spell grateful on the spot. Don't cheat. G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L. Oh, she was trying to Google. Grateful. Y'all spell grateful. Spell grateful. I always want to put G-R-E-A-T-F-U-L. So you know what I put instead? I say I'm thankful. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm joyful. I'm blessed. But you're not going to see me say, I'll say grateful. But you ain't going to see me type it too much because I always get confused. Just like convenient, inconvenience. Con- inconvenience. I-N-C-O-N. Brittany spell inconvenience. No! <laughs> okay, with that being said, y'all know I like trivia. Oh, y'all got it. See, they show me how to spell. What would I do without y'all? Without y'all, I wouldn't even be able to spell grateful. See? And y'all thought I was just here to help y'all. No, 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 no. This is a two-way deal going on. This is a reciprocal relationship. And now for the weather forecast. I'm excited. Today, it is Wednesday. It is our corporate fast. Destiny over donuts. The shirt will be here soon. Hope it's, I think it'll be the first of the week. Destiny over donuts, and it's amazing. It's so cool. 70 degrees in Jackson, Mississippi, with a high of 92. It is getting hotter <laughs> instead of cooler. Okay. All righty. Sunrise at 6.52 a.m. Sunset at 6.50 p.m. 0% chance of rain, 97% humidity. Winds are coming to southwest at 0 miles per hour. We haven't had, like, any wind in a while. So that's our weather forecast. Y'all, I did not close the conference because I was asked not to. So there are still some spots available. If you're planning to register and you just didn't have whatever, whatever, and you didn't do it yet, I ask you to please do it as soon as possible. But if nothing else, if you know you're coming, you've got to order your T-shirt because Tracy will be at the conference. So you've got to get that T-shirt order in this week. She ordered extra. She's got some extras. So if you're coming or you want to get the shirt, ladies, to be with us in spirit, the I Am Woman T, please order that this week. Please, because she's not going to be able to get it out to you if you wait until next week. So with that being said, that's about that. Um, if today's your birthday, happy birthday. If you're new to the page, welcome. You are now a part of a radical group of believers who actually take God at his word. And because of that, we are experiencing miracles all over the place. I have an amazing miracle testimony today coming from my dear sister, Franca. Franca is amazing. Her picture is like right here behind my head somewhere. You can't see it today, but it's over here. And she sent me this testimony, and it's amazing. So I want to share today. This is a miracle t-shirt testimony. We're going to have mailbox testimonies and t-shirt testimonies and throw blanket testimonies. I am so excited. Here it is, y'all. Amazing. And it's short. Well, kind of. It's awesome. Hi, Kelly. Hope you get this. I got it. You know, my mom passed away in July. And we're left with the respons- we were left with the responsibility of selling her house. We really needed to do it quickly as she's still old on it. We managed the estate sale and got the house cleaned up and it went on the market Monday. As I was praying and asking God, please, for a miracle to let this house sell quickly, I remembered my miracle shirt. I went out and got it out of the drawer and wrapped it around my mom's picture and laid it on her bed. I prayed and believed in a quick sale. The praise I have today is that we have a cash offer and it's only been three days. We were told it could take months. I'm so thankful. I cried and cried this morning and just thank God for this miracle. You taught me about miracles. 
and speaking out in faith. I thank you so much for your ministry and I will continue to follow you and pray with the warriors. I am committed. Love you. And Franca is amazing. I just got to show y'all. This is Franca. Isn't she gorgeous? And her precious mom is going to be with the Lord. She, her, she looked just like her mama, like, like twins. And so I'm so thankful that God performed that miracle in her life. And Franca used to be afraid, scared to pray. And like she said, I prayed and believed. This is like a big step for Franca. So Franca, we love you this morning. You know, we pray that God will continue to mend your heart from the loss of your mom, although we know where she is. And I'm just so thankful that you don't have that burden. Your family does not have that burden of trying to sell that house because God already stepped in. Yes, like Bubba says, yes, God will do it. So that's a miracle testimony. All over the place, we're getting them. Make sure you get your miracle shirts, throws, tees, and decals. So with that being said, God is awesome. He's awesome. Y'all ready? Did I do everything, Brittany? The Breast Cancer Walk here in, here in Jackson is October 28th. We will be doing that walk in our Breast Cancer T-shirts and our pink tutus. So if you are a Jackson Warrior, we want to see you. And guess how we're going to know who you are? Guess how? Buy your Breast Cancer T-shirt. So if you're not in Mississippi, please still get the shirts. People are getting them for walks all over the place. But we will be doing that walk. And we're going to be looking for the Jackson Warriors, the Mississippi Warriors for this walk. So get your T-shirts. You can get gray or black, either one, hoodies, whatever you want to do. Um, but they are available. And let's talk about this, y'all. Be still. Judges, 15. I got to go into my phone now. I'm excited this morning. Uh, get your miracle throws. Please. Deadline is Friday. We're sending the order in on Friday. Y'all ready for the word? I am. It's good. It's always good. But this study about Samson... It's just delightful. I'm really enjoying it. Let me pull this phone. Let me pull it up because it gets a little slow in here. Look, tell the Lord thank you while you're waiting. <laughs> Lord, you're good. You're awesome. Thank you, Father. All right. Here we go. Brittany, you could have just brought the word this morning. You didn't need me to pull it up. Oh. <laughs> okay, y'all. So we already know what's going on with Samson. So the way it went down so far is that you know, Samson brought the baby goat to make amends with his wife from Timnah. And when he gets there, the, the lady's dad is like, you can't come in here. I gave it to the best man of your wedding. So, you know, Samson's not too happy about that. So he goes and finds 300 foxes and ties their tails together. And they run off through the cornfield and burn up everything. Like, Samson, like, totally destroys their agriculture and their economy. Right? That's a bold man, okay? Just, to just, just burn up everything. So then they go, who did this? And they go, Samson, you know, the one that married the Timonites. Um, and then she turned around and married the best man in the way. So they are, see, see, that's how people talk. They already knew about this. Everybody was saying, oh, that's Samson. You know, the one whose wife married the best man of his wedding. That's how Samson was known at that time. But I don't think that's how they're going to remember him for long when he goes to keep tearing up everything. But for that moment, they're like, yeah, who did this? Samson, I'm reading the message version. I love it. They were told Samson, son-in-law, the Timonite. This is in six. We're going to do six through eight. Y'all ready? I'm reading the message version. I love the message version because it just tells you straight. The Philistines said, who did this when they saw everything ablaze and ruin? They were told Samson, son-in-law of the Timnite, who took his bride and gave her to his best man. The Philistines went up and burned both her and her father to death. So, you know, I guess they got a little upset because he burned up all their agriculture. He burned up everything they had. So I guess they were a little heated. Literally. They were not happy with Samson. I mean, I just wondered, like, when Samson burned everything up, did he, like, just just be like, okay, yeah, what you gonna do? Yeah, I, you know how somebody, you know somebody's trying you, like, if somebody burns up everything that you have, obviously they have a problem, and they're not ashamed that you know they got a problem with you. So when he burns up all this stuff, and they're like, okay, that's when they burn up the woman and her daddy after Samson burns up everything. So my thing is this. If Samson burned everything down, just because when he came back for his wife, he found out she had married the best man. What did they think he was going to do when they actually burned the wife and the father-in-law? I mean, I, did they think he was just going to say, oh, okay, my bad. Um, we're even? Like, did he think they were going to be even? I hope not. So, the Philistines went back, burned up the wife and the father-in-law. And then here goes Samson. Oh, this is how you're going to act? And here goes the message. Samson said... If this is the way you're going to act, I swear I'll get even with you. Mm. He says, and I'm not quitting until the job is done. With that, he tore into them, ripping them limb from limb. A huge slaughter. 
Then he went down and stayed in a cave at Edom Rock. Y'all, from my reading and my studying, he attacked them with his hips and thighs. Now, 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 he didn't use his upper body. He tore them apart using his hips. Can you imagine that? Somebody tearing you apart using their hips and thighs. That has to be a strong man that was really laughing. But think about it, y'all. He didn't use his hands. How does somebody tear you apart with their hips and thighs? Like, what were they thinking when they did this to Samson? Like, they, they were not, obviously, they were not thinking. So he does all that. He tears them apart, a whole bunch of them. And then he goes back home to a cave. He didn't, he didn't go to his mom and daddy's house. Maybe he didn't want to bring any heat over there. I don't know. So he goes to a cave in Edom Rock. And he sits there. What's my word today? Be still. I was reading. I was studying. I was like, okay, what is this guy? What is this? We see Samson is mighty strong. Yet he still retreated to a rock. And I kept saying, oh, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I kept saying, Lord, when I don't know what, when I'm overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. It's like Samson had a public victory. A big public victory. But after the public victory, and he tore them all to pieces, you don't see him out there saying, nah, 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 I tore y'all to pieces. Instead, he retreated. And he went to a cave, and he waited. He waited to see what they were going to do. And we're going to find that out on tomorrow. But what's my point? God will give you public victories, but you still got to know when to get somewhere and sit down and be still and know that God is God. You still have to get somewhere. Like Elisha, my friend Lily, she said, we got to move in silence. There are times when you still have to move in silence, even after a public victory. God will give us public victories. We already know many of us are already experiencing them. But I just feel like, just like Pat just said, I just feel like even though it's saying, you know, Samson went there to retreat and to wait to see what they're going to do next. Because obviously it was like, you do this, I do this, you do this, I do this. But it just was symbolic to me that Jesus is our rock. And that there is safety there. There was safety in that rock. And Jesus is our rock. He is. And so no matter what is happening, and you see how you can have a public victory and still catch hell. Like, for real, like, like you can just be winning. Team win. Like, everything about you is winning. All I do is win, win, win. And then you still have to retreat and be like, okay, now what just happened? Like, I'm sure, you know, I would, I would think, you know, after Samson, you know, he did all this in rage and in anger. He just been going through a lot. That's, that's a lot to take in. You were already upset because you go back to sleep with your wife to find out she married your best man. I don't know how the guy was his best man. He was a Philistine. They were enemies. But nevertheless, they, that was his best man out of the 30. And that's that's a big enough pill to swallow. I already told you about my little spat with that. I'm not going to be going back into it again today. Go back and watch the other videos if you want to know about that. But it wasn't the best man in my wedding, just for the record. It was a groomsman. Now, y'all go back and watch the rest. But that was enough to take in. And then, on top of that, they burned his wife and father-in-law. So he was already dealing with the pain. <laughs> y'all laughing at me. With the pain of accepting that his wife was with another man. And now... We got a funeral. We got a cremation, literally, going on. That's a lot. No wonder he snapped. Wouldn't you? Don't go burn up things and people and hurting people. But, I mean, that is a lot for somebody to take. So he has this public victory and that he wins. He tears them apart, but then he retreats. I would think to have some time with God. I would think to say, okay, God, what is this? And then not only that, he's ripping people apart. So he's seeing his gift at work. Like, God, you've given me this amazing gift. And I, and I just had a public victory. But yet, now I need to come into a, a cave and just hide and just see, you know, what's next. Y'all, ask God what's next for you. That God will give you strategies. And I also wrote down, because he ripped them apart using his hips and thighs, I wrote down, God will give you victory in ways you never imagined. You see that, right? Who would have thought that he would have a victory using his hips and thighs? God will give you victories in ways you never imagined. But guess what? We got to be still. We have to know when to move and when to be still. We got to know when to speak and when to be quiet. So we pray today for wisdom. Wisdom in every area of our lives, but especially wisdom concerning our enemies. We need that wisdom. We need strategies. Strategies. So when they come one way, we duck and dodge and go another way. And God continues to give us the victory. And we already know that we are victorious. Deuteronomy 20 and 4, right? That God will come along beside us. And you can see that he has done that with Samson. That God will come along beside us and assist us in battle to make sure that we have the victory. Facebook Warriors said, share the video. I'm so happy I forgot to tell you to share it. Share the video. Yeah, God's going to give you victory. God gave Frank and her family victory in three days. Do you know God can give you victory today? Today can be your day. Type it in. Today is my day. Type it in for me, Brittany. Today is my day for victory. Today is my day for a miracle. Today is my day for a breakthrough. Today is my day that God will tell me what I need to do next. That he will give me strategies. 
Y'all, we got to keep speaking it. God is assisting me in battle. Y'all, we got to speak it. Type, say it out loud to yourself. God is assisting me in battle. I will win because God is with me. This is the way we're going to keep speaking things over our lives. This is it. God is our rock. He's our rock. He's our foundation. And so we're good. Just know that. I cannot wait to talk about tomorrow. Cannot wait. Matter of fact, tomorrow's title. I already got it. Don't be moved. Don't be moved. When you see stuff acting all out of control all around you, don't you move out of position. Don't you get rattled by what seems like it's not going to go in your favor. You better know that God is with you. That you are victorious. That God is assisting you in battle. And even in that, like I challenged y'all earlier this week, get up. Please. Get up. Give God an extra 30 minutes of your time. Please get before him and just listen for instructions. Just sit. If you don't know what to do, just get up and just sit. And God will begin to speak to you. You've got to give him that time. And when Samson retreated to that cave after that public victory, it just brought me back to what God was telling me this week. Even when I began to bless you, this is for y'all. This is for me. Even when I began to give you these public victories, these, pub, these private battles lead to public victories. But when I do that, you still need to know that I'm your rock. And that you have to always come back to me to be refueled. For me to give you a next set of instructions. For me to speak to you concerning things that are to come. That otherwise you would never know. So no matter how victorious we get. Team win. Team win. No matter how much we win. We can get a shirt. Win. Team winning. We still have to go back to the basis. And go back to that time in prayer. When everything is quiet. Where you can get with God and see what the next steps are. And to see what his heart is concerning you and what he wants to tell you. No matter how great this becomes, because we already know we're destined for greatness. We already know what's about to happen. is going to be amazing. Let's not forget what got us to this point. It's so easy when the blessings start to flow. It is so easy when the miracles start to break. And everything begins to happen in your life and you forget the struggle. It's so easy to slowly drift away from this foundation. Do not forsake it, y'all. We have got to stay in prayer. We've got to continue fasting. We have to keep studying this word because that is what is producing the miracles. So we cannot veer off from this and then still expect God to move. No, we have to stay rooted and grounded in what we are doing right now. Let's go into prayer. That's right, Dora said, go back to your source, the rock. He is my rock. Is he your rock today? God, you are my rock. Tell him, say, Lord, you're my rock. You're my rock, God. He is. And in him, there is safety. I just love how this is like a foreshadow here. That Samson retreats to this rock and there he is safe. But you know what? They knew where he was. That's what's so amazing. We'll read it tomorrow. They knew he was in the rock. They knew he was in the cave. But they didn't come in the cave. They, they knew. It was like, okay, yeah, he's in there. But we're not going to mess with him in there. Just reminds me that when we're hidden in God, nobody can penetrate that. We're safe in his arms, y'all. Let's go into prayer this morning. You guys have been amazing to talk to. I'm just so excited. Like... I hope y'all can see and hear the excitement. Like, God is doing something so amazing with us, with the Warrior Nation. It is beyond what I could have ever asked or imagined. And I'm just so thankful today and so excited. Are you excited? Y'all, we're going to finish this year out with a bang. And we're going to be zooming into 2018 like some radical, faith-filled people. And we're going to see even more miracles in 2018. Let's go into prayer. God, uh, I like what Yolanda said. You are my everything, Lord. Amen. Elizabeth said, lifting up Lydia in prayer for a breakthrough and a miracle. Amen. I love you too. Over here, freckled caramel. I like that name. Let's go into prayer. Father, we honor you today. He is awesome, y'all. God, bless us through this fast today. For those of us who are participating, Lord, bless us. We already know. We've been doing this all year. And we know that you see it and that you are well pleased. And God, we just want to thank you. Thank you for all the miracle testimonies that flood in every single day. Thank you, God, for how you moved in Franca's life and in the lives of her family, God. And you allowed the miraculous. Franca's not the only one who was believing you for a quick sale in their home. There are people right now, this is you this morning, type it in and say, Lord, do for me what you did for Franca. Lord, do for me what you did for her. If you believe in God to sell your house, if you've had a for sale sign in your yard for quite a while and you need a miracle, you better do what Franca did. But say, God, if they're here today, Lord, please give them favor and allow those homes to sell. And we thank you for today, God. You're awesome. God, please go before the warrior nation and make every rugged path smooth, every crooked place straight and bring every high place low. I thank you father they are safe and out of the reach of their enemies i thank you god that no weapon formed against my family the warrior nation shall prosper in every tongue every naysayer that has spoken ill against them god i thank you those words are condemned now in the name of jesus god we honor you today please enlarge their territories please bless them 
Please grant them favor. Rest your hand upon them, God, because when your hands are upon us, we have more than what we need. And we thank you that we are equipped as Samson was equipped to fulfill his God-given purpose. God, we thank you today that we too are equipped for destiny and we honor you for it. As we step out into this dark and perilous world today, we know that we are lights. God, like cities that cannot be hidden, we are on a hill. God, we thank you for it today and we armor up with the better truth around our waist, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. Father, we are sandals of peace. We carry this shield of faith. We believe. We take you at your word, God, and we thank you for it today. God, in your sword of spirit, which is your word, let it be hidden in our hearts that we will not sin against you. God, we want to be able to pray your word back to you. Pray it back to you. Believe it. Stand on it and expect you to do exactly what you have promised. We thank you for it today. God, we thank you for Avery. We call her healed. We honor you for her healing now in the name of Jesus. For joy and strength, God, bless him. Bless his family. Bless Jahai's family, God. Bless her. Heal her, Father. For Shania, God, thank you for what you're already doing in her life, and we honor you for him. For our precious babies, baby Gabriel and baby Tonto and baby McKinley and Mariah Grace. We call them healed, completely healed and restored. Strong men and strong women in the earth. We thank you for it this morning, God. And for the life of Monica, we would not forget it, God. We thank you for her life and that her death was not in vain. We stand with her family, Regina Sykes and her family this morning, God, and we just thank you for them. Thank you for allowing them to be a part of the warrior nation, God. Favor them, Father. Bless them. Promote them, God, and give them that favor that they need in the courtroom, that justice will be served in Monica's court case. God, we honor you today. Anything that you need, warriors, anything you want to say, type it in right now. God, as we close this prayer out, we know that you're listening. We know, God, that you give careful consideration to our prayers, and we're just thankful today. We just want to thank you for answering our prayers. God, we call every need met in an abundance today. We call for promotions and breakthroughs and victory dances, God. Miracles, miracle checks, unexpected checks, uh, debt refund cancellations, God, we thank you for it. Debt cancellations and refunds. We thank you for it, Father. We honor you. Back pay, restitution, God, favor and child support cases. God, we thank you today. God, we thank you for it. Back taxes being paid. God, we thank you. Everything, God, that is due to us, we call it forth. Favor, God. Favor with bankers. Favor with mortgage companies, God. Favor at the car lot. God, we call it forth this morning. We call forth your favor and we believe we stand together shoulder to shoulder before your throne. We link our faith together and we believe this morning. Father, we honor you and we thank you for the testimonies that will come in today. Because today, we expect miracles. We honor you, Father. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. I'm excited, y'all. Today, you will believe. You Today, you will receive miracles. Believe that. Believe it. And we already know we're going to get testimonies. So, I love you guys. Please order your throws. Deadline is in two days. Uh, ladies, if you're coming to the conference, we left it open. But please order your shirt this week. Make sure you get your decals. I forgot. Here's the decal. We love seeing where you guys are putting them. A lady's believing for fruit of the room for she and her husband. She put one at the top of her bed. They believe in miracles and so do we. I thought that was very creative. We love you guys very much. Have a great, great day. And we will see you guys in the morning. Love y'all. Did I get everything, Brittany? All right. Got everything. Love y'all. Be still and know that God is God.